in Guni languages, by Guni languages I mean it's a Zulu, it's a Tosa, it's a Nebele, and it's a Swat. So in Guni languages we all have lit sounds. And it becomes difficult when our second additional students learn click sounds. But if you can sing with them, then it becomes very easy for them. It's difficult to click in isolation than to click in a song. And someone can even ask students on, like some, one of my colleagues who is <coughs> teaching to Ahili was asking me a question like, how can your students click and sing at the same time because he, she was trying to do it and it was difficult for her to do it and was so surprised to see the students singing and clicking at the same time. So in Guni languages we have a song called Ipricha Lenjela Gukomotwan like Ipricha Lenjela Gukomotwan Ipricha so when you teach the students to sing, they forget about the kids' sounds. And also, one other song that my students like very much is the birthday song. They, well, whenever I come to class, they will tell me that, a hey, teacher, today is somebody else's birthday. Can we sing in Zulu? And then we start singing, Usugolum Nani Uwe, Usugolum Nani Uwe, Usugolum Nani Uwe. And then, even when I meet these students, after three years of teaching them, they will tell me that, you know what, teacher, I can still remember the day they saw. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can also use group work, laugh with your students, have them share their fears in small groups. Because it's very difficult to teach uh, like your home language as a second additional language. Some of the students will be very like not free in class because maybe they are afraid of talking. And then the next one, which is still under lowering inhibitions, is encouraging risk taking. How do we do that? We praise our students for making sincere efforts to try out the new language on their own. And we also use fluency exercises where errors are not corrected at that time. Because it discourages students when, whenever they speak in that particular language. And then you as a teacher, you keep on, no, wait, you, you are not supposed to say it like that. Then the student will forget what she was trying to, to say. So we discourage that and also build self-confidence. Um, building students' self-confidence is to tell them explicitly, verbally or non-verbally, <coughs> that you do indeed believe in them. Have them make list of their strengths, of what they know or have accomplished so far in the course. Because to them, it's very exciting to know some, something in, in another language no matter how small it is, but they will come to you and say, now teacher, I know how to pronounce this. And develop intrinsic motivation, remind them about the rewards for learning the <coughs> language. For example, students need to see rewards beyond writing the exam. 